Welcome, Gemini. I'm Brenda, Brenda Taro, and I'm here today to bring you your relationship and your romance reading for the month of November. And I am incorporating the relationship part of it, and this could be purely platonic relationships with co-workers, with family members, with friendships, but also I'm using, I am incorporating the romantic part of this reading as well. So for some of you, you will be looking at it with a romantic partner, and for others, you may be looking at it at a platonic friendship level. Take what you can from it. I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and especially clicking that bell button when you subscribe and being able to see these videos every week. As you know, this is a collective reading. Not every card may resonate or the energy they carry with every one of you. But be open-minded, take what you can from it, and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I welcome you to click the little button in the top right-hand corner and it will take you directly to my website where you can see the services that I offer. But all that information, my beautiful Geminis, is posted below this video. So let's get on with our reading here. Uh, I have the cards that I'm working with today posted below this video. And you'll be able to see what I'm using today. This is a brand new deck I've never used before and I absolutely love it. And I'm using it as the theme and the all over energy that we need to focus on this week. And I will be asking Spirit please to give us two cards. There's your first one, okay? Sexuality. All righty. <clears throat> Let's see what else we have here for you. There you go. You've been given entrapment. Quite contradictory, the two cards here, right? This is interesting. This is very interesting. So let's concentrate on our first card here. This is the sexuality card. And this tells me that, you know, it's a natural part of every one of our lives to attract what we want towards us. So for a healthy relationship, okay, we need to embrace and enjoy our intimate, sensual, passionate nature. This is about being able to communicate what it is that you want from your partner. Okay, stepping up, I look at this as the romance part of this reading and being able to be creative, keeping the fun, keeping the enjoyment, keeping the role play, keeping interesting things happening in your life right now, stepping up and knowing what you want and being able to clearly describe this and communicate this with your partner, with your love mate. And that's going to keep your relationship moving forward. Maybe you feel stuck in a situation. Maybe you feel, you know, with this entrapment, it could have to do with the environment as well and the circumstances that surround you that you can't step up and be creative anymore, that you can't step up and have fun anymore in your relationship, uh, you know, in the romance part of your intimate part of your relationship. So try not to let the outside world influence your temperament, your demeanor, your will here, your happiness, your enjoyment, your excitement. Uh, you know, the anticipation of that moment of, of, of blissfulness. So step up, step up and let go of the things in the outside world that may be influencing you now. And maybe some of you have no control over this. Maybe, you know, you're separated from your loved one and you can't get together. Or, you know, you, maybe it's a long distance relationship and you can't be intimate with each other. But, you know, our world is beautiful and we have, and we live in such a modern era that we can still connect virtually with each other to talk and communicate and see each other share that. If this is what you're wanting to do to keep a relationship together, you need to communicate on that level to keep that intimacy still flowing. Don't let the way the world is today. We are, we do have restrictions. We are locked down right now. I get it, but we can still communicate. And if you're lucky enough to be locked in with each other, enjoy your time together. Take advantage of that. 
that's what this is all about that's how a romance starts out first it's a it's a you know often it's um you know a physical attraction that we feel this energy and vibration towards another and then we develop the friendship we develop that long-standing deep love so don't let the way the world is now gemini okay step up and ex and 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 be creative and explore that beautiful part of you to maintain this relationship okay now let's see what we've got here let's see what we've got here in conjunction with these cards here uh, divine spirit please give me the additional information that we know need to know what is it we need to know now what is it we need to know is going to occur in the future let's see what we have here so i want to really shuffle these and i'm going to ask spirit to give us two cards two cards to let us know what's going on here in this relationship for you some of you you know you've lost that feeling of wanting to be with each other and and and, and, and ignite the fire that you had in this passionate relationship in the beginning you know they always i guess we're going to use that one we they always talk about you know the honeymoon the honeymoon part of a relationship and it can end so what have we got here we've got the ten of pentacles and something is ending okay traditional part of something here so coming in with the sexuality step up and put the fire back into this this is a king of wands taking control of the situation and saying okay I'm gonna go out there and you know it might be sticky it might be hot it might be you know a little uncomfortable but I'm stepping up and I'm explaining what it is I want to maintain a happy physical part of a relationship here being able to step up and, and attract that and want that a healthy healthy physical relationship with your partner and you know that's what this king does he steps up he goes towards he's able to communicate and he's not afraid of getting burned in the process okay he's brave and the fire here is telling me that okay this is a fire a fire card a fire a fire influence here and you're going to step up I think you're going to be brave I think you've had enough here you've been you felt as though you were trapped in a, in a situation here and you were missing it you were wanting some excitement in your relationship and now you're going to move forward the ten of pentacles this means something's ending ten of pentacles means stay focused you're going to be able to see fruition and happiness and accomplishment and success coming into you I think Gemini's this is more of a romantic relationship here than it is uh, a friendship relationship here for my gems you're very passionate you are very creative you have that ability to creatively express yourself and communicate with people and you need to impart that and imply that into the relationship part of your life okay step up because you can see this beautiful outcome you know the, the the ten of pentacles talks about fruition success happiness fulfillment in your home life in your relationships with your children with your partners with your romantic partners this is beautiful this means that you don't have to feel stuck in a situation anymore because you are going to be creatively communicating and saying you know what we need to put this back together we need to have a happy a happy happy um, you know intimate uh, physical relationship in this in this romantic relationship as well beautiful now let's see how we're going to clarify these let's see what we've got here spirit show us what we have here to clarify this i need three cards here for my beautiful gems what is it we need to do here to see that they need this clarified let's see what we have here for this clarification the outcome let's see what we have here three cards please spirit to see what we need to know what does what does Gemini need to know at this point Wow there you go the king of wands the king of wands you've had it twice here look at that you are taking control you're going to beat to your own drum you're going to talk about your individuality you're going to discuss who you are and your individual uniqueness you were bored absolutely you felt entrapped in this relationship you felt as though you know you were thinking back where did that be whoops where did that beautiful feeling go all right you don't want to lose that 
sorry, we need one card spirit. Just one more, please. One more for my gems to clarify this reading, where it's going to go. Let's see. One card, please, spirit. Thank you. Show me that one card. Thank you. No, that's two. But look what it was. It was the, <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles saying that it's going to work out, right? Just one, please, spirit. Just give me that one card. Show me that one card that they need to know. Please, spirit. There it is, and I thank you. Okay, so you have this feeling of being bored, right? But what happens here is, coming in here, you get on top of this sexuality, on top of you expressing how important the intimate part of your relationship is and that you want to keep it moving and flowing and going, you're going to communicate, right? You felt stuck. You felt stagnant, right? You felt as though you were missing out on an opportunity, missing out on some happiness here. So by communicating here with your partner, with your significant other, you're going to see that it will work. So you know what? I think you're going to be amicable. You're going to be adaptable. Uh, you're considering their needs as well, but you beat to your own drum. This is about stepping up and taking control. You've got the king and you've got the knight. And the knight, I think, is going to respond to your comments, respond to your body language, respond to your sexuality, and realize that they are attracted to you. Okay, this is something coming in very suddenly. You're going to be able to change this boring, mundane feeling lack and loss and oh my gosh, crying over spilt milk, not quite, but this is about feeling lack and loss and boredom. Okay, feeling like you're missing something, an opportunity opportunity to improve this relationship. So you're going to take on the brave part of this, this king of king of wands, and you're going to take control of this situation. You're going to discuss it. And now look at your knight is going to come shining in and he's going to agree to it because you can't go wrong when you get the Ten of Pentacles on top of this moment. All right. This is what you felt like. Entrapment. You felt as though you couldn't move forward. Something was holding you back. Uh, you know, often our our environment around us, our surroundings around us can make us feel that way. But you're going to give it up. You're going to step up and realize the only way to get past this feeling is to communicate your needs here. And that's the most successful part of any relationship is sitting down, not walking away, sitting down and saying, can we talk? You know, can we communicate? here and and you will see that you can turn this around because you got the judgment card and that means brand new beginning you've taken a long assessment of the situation and you've decided that you are going to communicate here yes of course you're going to you're a you're a Gemini I mean Gemini's are the most communicating and creative people out there they have this ability to sell snow to an Eskimo as they say right so you are having a brand new beginning this is beautiful and your happiness is going to come in because you stepped up. Wow, this is beautiful. Taking control of the situation, wanting it to be better. So I am seeing this as working out as a romantic, romantic reading rather than a relationship reading. But you can also apply communication with but I think you're going to see this is more of a romantic reading. Okay, let's see what we have here with our romance cards. Okay, let's see what we have here, Spirit. Please, three cards for the romance. And this is our outcome when it comes to this reading. Let's see what we have. What's going to happen here? What do they need to know? What do they need to see? Thank you. All right. Something's going to happen really soon. I think your communication is going to pay off, okay, because you're clearly deciding what it is that you want, right? Let's see what we have. Two more cards for my beautiful gems. Whoops, that was three, but I'm going to take these two because they went together. 
let's see what we have here again um, you know maybe this here is making you feel like it was a past life relationship you have known each other before this could be the fact that you had this beautiful feeling here of sensuality that beautiful attractive loving physical part of your relationship and you and and you know it became boring it became mundane you felt that you were trapped in a situation and it wasn't going to improve but for some reason you opened your eyes and said I'm going to do what I need to do you want to build a better foundation on this relationship the number four is on sexuality and that leads me to believe that you know you're building this new foundation and bringing that part back into your relationship beautiful and it's going to happen soon you're not going to play around with this for very long because Gemini's don't sit on their laurels and wait for things to land in their lap they take control so you're clearly going to decide what you want so that it comes to you now some of you are attracting a new love okay a new person has stirred your romantic feelings and there your sensuality is coming in for others it may appear to be like a renewed love right this could be feeling like you have a brand new person in your life again but for others you may be meeting somebody new this is awesome well as usual Gemini's you don't sit around you make sure that you take control of a situation here you don't want to lose out on this beautiful situation here beautiful well my gems this is your reading and it turned out to be a hot and heavy romantic one you're making the changes to keep that part of the sensuality and that beautiful romantic physical part of your relationship intact and only because you communicated, you felt this entrapment, you were able to see the success coming in. It's like a brand new beginning here, right? We talked about this gift of the divine coming in and saying, you're only going to take those with you on this new journey of a new beginning. And it's going to be happy and harmonious. Ten of Pentacles talks about that. Absolutely beautiful. Well, my gems, this is your reading, your romance reading for this week. I didn't even say relationship, but it is a relationship too. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to. And again, I leave you with this. Never forget how far you've come everything you have gotten through, all the times you have pushed on even when you felt you couldn't, all the mornings you got out of bed no matter how hard it was, and all the times you wanted to give up but you didn't. You got through another day. Never forget how much strength you have learned and developed throughout all of these challenging times. Remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and wants you to find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. My prayers and blessings are that you stay in continued good health spiritually emotionally mentally and physically please play safe stay safe and be safe and i'll see you soon